but God created us in his own image meaning he has also given us wisdom but we don't want to use that wisdom we just want people to come and manipulate us you buy your pastor a car you build him a house you pay his trips yet you are you and your kids can barely even eat Hi, hi, my people. How are you? My name is Martha Soipan, and kama kawaida kila siku, kila wakati, every time, every minute. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. A very good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching us from my diaspora. People, I love you so much. Thank you for your support. My people around here, tuwale tukwapa Kenya. East Africa, West Africa, kila mahali pembe zote duniani na washukuru kwa upendo na ujasiri wenyu kila siku mnapozungumza nami na sema ni asanti Mwenyezi Mungu akaweze kuwabariki. Today, today eh le mwangie Kiswahili. We. He, naenda kosi kidogo. Anyway, subscription continue subscribing liking share and also don't forget to comment there below and thank you by the way for all those guys who have dm'd me muli pika tunaenda 254 kwa edgar munyenyi very soon niliona kwa dm meniambia siju tupike nini tutaenda huko so today i want us to talk about our churches our ministers ministers of god i'll call them that because mimi kuwaita prophets prophetess Apostle, Bishop, Pastor, no. Let me just call them in 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 general ministers of God. Now we have victims today. At Malizi Wiki, we are not even finishing one week without a victim from a certain church, from a certain domination, all that. Now my question is, and if I'm the wrong I'm on the wrong side, uh, pardon me. Where are we? Are we in the end, end, end times? Is the world or the generation coming to an end? If I recall very well, I cannot remember the last time I entered into a church and it was preached that so and so, you need blessings. This is what you're supposed to do. Sarah went to the mountain. Moses went to the mountain, prayed and fasted, and received the blessings. Today, Mungu wa Mesema, God has said, Holy Spirit has said, you're, not, you're supposed to give a certain amount of money. You're supposed, I don't know, to sacrifice, go and sell part of your property and bring the money to church. Now, my question is, even before I mention the ministers, my question is to you who, who you are a follower, a brethren in that church. Today you've been manipulated, you've been told to sell part of your land, go uh, take the money to the church, um, at the end of the day, uh, God will bless you. Where is that written in the Bible? Where have we not read the Bible ourselves and understood? Today, your pastor or your bishop is having a birthday. You're being told you contribute money. You buy him a car. Yourself, you're contributing that money. You don't even have a bicycle. Which God is that? End month riches. The family pastors, you need to pay for them rent, buy for them shopping for the house. Yourself, you even walked from your house to that church. Why are you allowing these people to, 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 to take you as fools? Why are you allowing them to spin your head with a lot of manipulation? When was the last time you entered into a church? You are sick. You are prayed for. Very well. And you went home and received full healing. You'll either be told it is your mother. It is your sister, it is your brother, they have gone to witchcraft for you 
And the only thing you could do, because huko walitua 100,000, you're supposed to remove 200,000. We, 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 we overpower those powers because her, she removed 100,000. Now if you remove 200,000, we overpower, then now you become stronger than them, then you get healed. Why are you allowing these people to manipulate your head, to cook stories? And you go ahead and start saying, so and so's church is good and so let me tell you something if today you feel poverty is following you don't rush to people you're not even sure of and they'll start telling you they're delivering you deliverance starts with you and i've said that and i'll continue saying it you start saying you're poor how, how will you not be poor if everything you're getting, you're earning your set, you're taking it to your pastor and the family? How do you expect yourself to be rich? I'll give you an example. And I thank God because uh, God has put something in me because of what I've experienced. I remember uh, when, when during my life journey there's a there's a part you you had i was I, I went to a church and when i went to a church thinking i was in safe hands i was defiled and immediately when i thought my life had come to an end where i thought i'll find refuge one day my, my pregnancy was still very young and um I was called in the midst of the congregation and I was told the Holy Spirit has said <laughs> allow me to laugh because sometimes I remember those words and I'm like seriously I was so stupid I wish I had the knowledge that I had today that time and um, I was told that the Holy Spirit has said I'm supposed to yani, I don't know how to put it in English because I, I had I had and now the Holy Spirit has said and when I walked out of that church that is what even made me now hate churches for a very long time until now when I went back to where I had been brought up uh, like I've always said I'm a, I'm a very strong Roman Catholic and that is me and I'm proud of being a Catholic now I, I today when I, when I recall that I asked myself if the Holy Spirit has said I don't go to church, was the Holy Spirit not still there with me when I was being defiled? Why didn't that Holy Spirit protect me when I was being defiled? Where was that Holy Spirit when I was being told I need to go and get rid of this pregnancy? You know, don't be manipulated that the Holy Spirit talks to me. No. God talks to everybody who wants to be talked to. As much as you kneel down and you pray to God every day, the minute you tell God, I want to hear your voice, he will talk to you. And I remember that church up to today. And what came and happened to that church, that's a story for another day. Because the things that happened to that church, oh my God, I thank God. I was told, Holy Spirit, Alisemani Toke. And same case applies to today. Muna, you're going to churches. You go thinking that you're in the right hand. The minister of God will pray for you. But before he prays for you, unambo lazima pia wekele sijui mbegu. Sijui nyumba yako it has sijui what what. You have to fuel the car for us to come and deliver your house. Deliver your house who? Don't you have the strength to kneel down? You have knees. Kneel down. You have hands. Put them together. Lock yourself in your bedroom. You can fast. You cannot even, it's not a must even you fast. You can just pray. Go deep into prayers. If you're not able to pray for yourself, if you don't have words to tell God, Jesus Christ, when he was living, he left us a very good prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, even a three year old child knows that prayer. Pray that prayer, and God will let deliver you. In whatever you're going through, in every situation you're going through, but do not allow these ministers of God to manipulate you. If today, every day, we have victims of not only young girls, but even young boys 
who are victims of circumstances that are going through in churches and you're still there seated unangoja tu bado uendele you've been told this church is good this church has done what let me tell you something all that i don't me i don't take it for me it's crap it's crap i have my bible i read my bible every day i understand my bible i talk to my god every minute every second so whatever i need i knock at the door at, at the uh, at the door where god is and god opens for me i don't expect someone to come and translate for me the bible i don't expect someone to come and tell me let me tell you something you you've delayed you, you're not getting children because at ECG you did what and what no when god created you god had a purpose and if today you're still on this planet you're not dead god is not yet done with you I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a pastor because I would not want to manipulate people. I'm here to open your eyes. Kneel down in your house and pray. I remember even when I started airing my story, a lot of people would call me and write me messages and tell me that I need deliverance. And and then always there's one famous pastor everybody will just tell me go and I was like I asked myself so, so you people you've been manipulated by that man and you think you can manipulate the things I've seen in churches I know deliverance is within me I prayed to God I told God if there's anything that has been done that I do not know it should not bother me deliver me and I know that I have gone through this because you have a purpose in me allow that purpose to manifest in me and allow that purpose to work not only for me but for the people around me for the generation countrywide and what is happening today and I remember one one woman called me and she told me I am Martha I've heard your story and you know you'll never succeed unless you come I deliver you and you do know what I told her are you God if you are God wait and see if I will not succeed and the only thing she did she hung up on me why because I told her the truth she calls herself I don't know I can't even remember something I don't know Ruth or Rahab something like that she's somewhere those sides of Kawangware and I was like who are you you're not God it is God who has made me reach to where I am today and so as much as I do not know you and as much as I know that God does not need anyone's opinion to bless you God does not need anyone's message or comment to think of blessing you no and I've come to realize that as much as you sleep and you wake up in the morning God is not yet done with you your miracle or your breakthrough may take long but at the right time it will come it will not need someone to lay hand on you no it will not need anyone to come and at confess something to you or deliver you no it will only need god's time and that god's time it will also need you to continue praying and believing in god don't be manipulated you work so hard you you the bible says bring tithe and offering in my house hakuna pahali biblia imesema bring amount of money for your deliverance bring amount of money for me to give you a baby in your womb or to make you unbarren the Bible does not say bring in amount of money for me to bless you with a Range Rover. No, 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 no. Work hard and bring what belongs to God. That is offering and tithe. And if at all you feel you, you want to plant a seed, plant a seed that makes you comfortable that makes your heart comfortable don't plant a seed because 
Pastor amesimama mbele akasema Holy Spirit has said each one of you should plant a seed for 5000. Holy Spirit has said each one of you should buy this oil. At because when you please you sprinkle it in your house. My people na majini tapotea. How does that person know that you have majini and my people in your house? I think it is high time. Like I've always said, let's go back to the basic and the roots. Read the Bible. Understand what Jesus was teaching his disciples. Understand the word that Jesus left us with before he went to heaven. Because during judgment, that person that was manipulating you, was taking you round and round, will not be there. And I don't think you'll stand and tell God, see, I was told the Holy Spirit told me, but God created us in his own image, meaning he has also given us wisdom, but we don't want to use that wisdom. We just want people to come and manipulate us. You buy your pastor a car, you build him a house, you pay his trips, yet you, are, you and your kids can barely even eat a quarter of meat. You and your kids can barely eat milk and bread in the morning. You and your kids are being locked out of your house because of rent, yet the money you had, God has said you first pay pastor's rent. You first pay uh, fuel pastor's car. You first take pastor's wife's due to salon. She's going to minister in Israel. You have to pay for her. You yourself, you've never, not even a plane. You've not even gone with a, with, a, with a train. Leave alone a plane. You're paying for someone to fly abroad. Where at Ujatoka up and Nairobi, and a new came on bus and a train? Let me tell you something. Nobody has ever gone there up and told us how it looks like. Make your heaven here down. And you cannot give what you don't have. Before you give, make sure you have enough. Make sure you have enough. And I've always said, if you feel that someone is manipulating you, nini, 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 you don't have to take your millions and millions. You, we have so many children home. We have old age homes. Take God is seeing. Take to the people you know very well from deep down your heart. They need your support. You cannot go to buy your, your pastor Range Rover and he's still driving a V8 and yourself, you, do, you don't even have a bicycle. Or maybe you're even driving a Vitz. Would you compare a Vitz with a Range Rover? Seriously. Do you think continue feeling Range Rover? You'll one day stop driving a Vitz and go to Range Rover. Don't be manipulated. Usikubali muibiwe akili. Read your Bible and do what the Bible tells us. Listen to what Jesus told his disciples before he left. And he said very well, he has left us the Holy Spirit. Make use of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is always around us in whatever we do. Don't let these ministers of God, uh, they're not even of God. I cannot call them of God because nowadays I don't know. I don't know what to call them. Now, you, you've been told this is anointing oil. <laughs> My people, put a Put a that is my question. When will be over? Stop. Align these people to take advantage of us. Think about it. Think about it. And ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. And go to the right ministers of God and go to the right churches and pray God for his wisdom, for his grace, and for his guidance. That's all for today. 
my name once again is Martha Soipan. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this content to your family and friends. Shalom until next time. Goodbye.